truck bed trailer part number two starts right here. Welcome back to Chud's Chop Shop. I want to do a walk around before I start cleaning it up. I've cleaned out a lot of the trash. The interior, it's better than the interior on the blue truck. I may have to switch out these seats and it has a console. Floor mats, front and back, Heart of the Heartbeat of America. Door panel is over here. I need the these handles in the blue truck. If we look under the hood, there is nothing. Uh, on the grill, I want to put this grill on the blue truck. This part of the grill, I don't think I want to keep the flames. I mean, they're cool and all, but from a distance, I don't like them. But this grill looks a thousand times better than my grill. I gotta decide whether to keep these wheels, put them on the truck bed trailer, the other truck bed trailer, and this truck bed trailer, or keep the stock wheels that's on that. I don't know yet. Probably these wheels. There's your uh, fan shroud, your cross member. Got a total of four lug wrenches, two ratchet straps, caulk gun, uh, the original headlights, and the side marker blinker or uh, reflectors. A pair of channel locks, a glove. That's the trim that goes into the uh, tailgate. Pliers, a uh, sheetrock knife, bottle jack, lots of ropes. I rolled up the ropes. Dad always said I was good at rolling up ropes. Gas can, funnel, chalk, radiator hoses. Now that you've seen all this, I can start washing it up, making it look good and start taking it apart. And then on the back of the truck, they've got some aftermarket taillights. Not really my favorite, but they'll work. There's a hitch. There's dual exhaust coming out the back. I'll try to show you the whole system. The exhaust goes from a single to a glass pack and out duals. I've got the bed all cleaned out to be a work truck. That bed is in really good shape. Maybe it wasn't a work truck for long. I've got some nice vintage, the Heartbeat of America floor mats. These want to go in the back of the Blue Z71. And there's the other Heartbeat of America. Step one, the grill is out. That makes for an ugly truck. Up next, we'll take the hood off, then we'll jump on the fenders. Grill is out, not Gorilla. There's the front bumper and the grill. The bumper has kept the hood. The hood is now next. Then we'll get the fenders. There's the wheel wells, the fenders, hood. Up next, the radiator support comes out. I am up dissecting the front end, about ready to take the cab off. I've got to unhook the steering and the brakes, and I keep finding these mysterious chunks of metal. I believe that's transmission bell housing. They say what happened was the flywheel shattered. Check this out. There's some trails of it. It went up through the firewall, busted the windshield. Question one, 4.3 liter, how hard were you turning it? Question two, how scary was it when the windshield broke? Here we are putting a lift kit on the cab, actually trying to take it off without damaging it. Last time when we did truck bed trailer number one, we just rolled this one off. Truck bed trailer update, the frame is now clear of the cab. The cab is over here sitting on the ground. Use the cherry picker and a come along up in the tree. The interior is getting pretty clean. It's almost time to take it out in the woods and make a camper out of it, a fort, a cabin in the woods. But then I couldn't sell the doors, but it might be worth it. Get out there and lock the door, keep the bears out, get the blankets. Let me think about that. I could put it on my uh, little trailer and make a camper out of it. I'm gonna think about that too. Okay, adding to the price of the truck bed trailer, I got this coupler. It was $32.99. I got two cutoff discs, $2.59 each. I think this was $4.59. And I got two self-locking nuts for a dollar. That's 50 cent each. So I've got the truck bed trailer parts back here at the garage. I gotta cut the front suspension off. I think I'm gonna cut it right here. So this morning's goal, we're going to cut the front of the frame off, get rid of all the suspension junk that we don't need. The exhaust, some guy came over yesterday, he said, how do I get it out? I guess in two pieces, he decided he didn't want it. So I think I might cut it off right here before the glass pack and then leave the tip sticking out the back just for looks. 
what I'm thinking about. Got to do something with this gas line. Got to get rid of these two cross members. Here it goes. On the green truck, the truck bed trailer number one, the cross member was bolted in. This one has rivets. I take the grinding wheel, grind off the rivet smooth, and I've got this chisel, and I hit it about right here. Let me hit it a couple times and I'll show you. So I hit it probably five times, and now you can see with the rivet, the cross member's coming up from the rivet. Then we'll do the other one, piece of cake. And now a couple more taps, and you can see where the other rivet's starting to break loose. Now, cross member number two, it could be a little more challenging because of the bump in the cross member, hard to get to the rivet, or just come underneath and you got a flat surface to work with. What I might do for the other side, go ahead and cut the front suspension off, lean this up, then it'd be even easier to get to. And I've got my dust mask. Safety glasses. Ear protection. And a brand new cutoff wheel. Let's get started. Side number one is cut all the way through. There's a jack stand in the back. This back tire is blocked. There's a jack stand here. There's a jack here. There's a chain in the front keep it from falling. And this tire is blocked. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the grinder right there. It's about two more inches to go. And this thing will be cut in half. Good news on this frame, there's a lot less grease. There's a little more rust, but a lot less grease. Up next, I'm gonna grind off the heads of these rivets underneath, get that cross member out. Let me start cleaning it up and getting ready to paint it. It is last cross member removal time. I've already got the other side done. Got my chisel. I was planning to cut up here, but there's a groove. So I come back here, it gets smooth. I'm gonna cut here with the grinder. We'll tap this down, bend it in, and we'll be welding along that line. Same thing down here. To mark this, I took my speed square at 56 inches, made a mark, flipped it like this, made a mark on the bottom channel, and then put it in here like this, and made the bottom mark. The only thing left to do now would be cut here, cut there, tap this down, tap that down, bend it in. Start welding. This is what the tongue is looking like. I still plan on cutting this off, cutting that groove off, and having the coupler sit right down on there. If we put the coupler on, the angle's not right yet, but by the time we trim this off, trim that groove off, and cut a little angle off here, pull it together a little bit, and I want to tack these together before I put the coupler on, should be good. The decision was made last night to pull the gas tank, free up all that space, get rid of all those lines. I think I'm gonna leave the gas tank out, but we can always put it back if we want to. Anyway, I went and measured the other truck bed trailer, and these are 49 inches long. I think I can make it work 50 and a half. 
Since I had to move that cutback some, I'm gonna have to move this cutback some to get the right angle for the coupler. So up next, I'm gonna mark this with my speed square, cut it off, and we'll pull them together and get some welding going on. So I've measured the tongue from this point right here, and from that point right there, it is 50 and a quarter inches to right here. Uh, that should make this a nice little uh, triangle. Yeah, I cut out those little pieces, and my angle is just right going this way, going that way. One thing I do want to do, I've marked here, if I cut this line and cut that line, then beat this part down, I can butt weld that to that at the same height. Here, let me, uh, let me cut it, hit it, and then I'll show you. Looks straight to me. I'm ready to start welding. One thing I do want to do, I want to cut a little bit of this meat just in case I want to put a jack on it. I'm actually thinking about getting a jack for this one. So I've got to move over to the welding station. And I'm gonna weld this first, grind it down, maybe do a little tacking in there, and we'll get the cup, then we'll get the coupler put on. The two frame rails are now welded together. There's a zigzag line in there where we welded it, and then I took the grinder and smoothed it off so the coupler will sit flat. If we go underneath, there's a little tack under there. Hard to see. And then down in here, I put a little gusset in there. And under here is even tacked. I'm ready to put the coupler on. The tongue is all welded on. Up next, I gotta fly back here and hit that spot downstairs, downstairs, and that spot. Then we're done welding. Oh, the welding is now done. Even these little guys are done. And these little guys. And I know I need to start cleaning and painting. But I'm gonna put it behind the truck. Actually, I'm gonna put it behind the other trailer. Just drilled a couple holes in the coupler. Actually, in the frame, the coupler holes are already there. I'm gonna put these two bolts and nuts on, just for a little extra safety. Maybe a couple more on there. The OSPO has now been applied. It looks good to me. We'll let it dry overnight and this time tomorrow, it'll be all black and shiny. I've taped off everything that does not want to be black. The tongue lock, where the bed meets the frame. And I might even do the cherry bomb, the glass pack, I might even do it cherry bomb red. On truck bed trailer number one, I stole the height adjustment lever for the parking brake. On part two, on build two, I'm thinking about using this shifter as my parking brake. Rolling, brake set. That should work. Where I am on the parking brake, I removed it from the mower. I cut off part of the shaft that I didn't need. There's a hole in the frame that's the exact right size. This parking brake's going almost too easy. Update, I put this rounded piece in the vise. Now it's pretty flat. I'm going to drill and tap some holes here, fold it down, and then it's just a matter of drilling a hole here, hooking a spring on, putting a clamp on, painting it. Here on the back side of the parking brake, I'm going to pin it with this, some people call it a split pin. I call it a Carter key. Had to drill a hole in the shaft, put a little grease on it. This is off the top of a Briggs & Stratton. I don't know where that washer came from. It is properly pinned. Time to hook up the cable. And now the cable is attached to the spring. The spring is attached to the arm. Let's try out the parking brake. Parking brake on. Parking brake off. And now with my glossy white spray paint, I'm gonna tag the inside of the frame rail. And there we have it. The tail lights have been all wired up. And the last thing on the mandatory list, I gotta get on the safety chains. I'm getting the custom wood flooring put in this. It's old form board. It's real thick. You could jump up and down. It's going to be fine. The back one is a little bit thinner and wider. I'm going to put some angle support. This is 
bed frame. I'm gonna screw it down, screw it down, and then we'll put the plywood in and I'm gonna put another piece of bed frame at the back of it. The custom plywood flooring is in. I'm gonna put on these two reflectors and we're gonna call it done. Is that right? That's good to me. Truck bed trailer number two has made its first delivery. I'm gonna take these tires off the white truck, has double pattern, and I'm gonna put them on the green trailer. Lower it down just a little bit. Get some tread on it. These are worn out. Doing a quick brake check on truck bed trailer number one. Looks like it has light new brake shoes. Those would be good for the parking brakes. Big butt tire versus regular size. Looks dinky. I couldn't wait. I got to do this again in the uh, nighttime, but there's the blinker on. Blinker, blinker, blinker. I took the toolbox off the truck bed. Time for a highway test drive. We could use this for clickbait if we were that kind of channel.